Okay, here's a good little tip. Y'all excuse the noise in the background. I am canning uh, carrots, and that's the bobbler on the pressure cooker. But I want to tell you something right quick as part of our homemaking series. A quick tip to get your husband um, motivated and to keep you from nagging so much at him. You know that honey-to-do list and those things you've been trying to get him to do forever. And it's just never getting done. And it's making you frustrated. You're starting to nag. Your nagging is making him frustrated. And that makes him just don't want to do anything at all. Okay? Stop the nagging. Just stop it. Stop it. If he ain't done it after six months of you nagging, just drop it. Okay? You might have to get you somebody else to do it. But I'm going to show y'all a little tip and trick that I started doing with my husband. Ah! And it works, y'all. Y'all. Shh. Don't let your husbands hear. Use kind of like reverse psychology. Use some kind of different psychology. Okay? Listen to this. Sorry, I had to move my canner right quick. Y'all hear that noise outside? Let me see. <laughs> he's working, y'all. And he's doing something that I've been asking him to do. It didn't take me long. Let me show y'all my trick. Okay? Let me turn you around here. Get you one of these babies and put it on your refrigerator. Okay? Get you one of these. This is all I have to do, y'all. And actually, this was his suggestion. Okay? He's like, you know what? I might come more to doing things that you want me to do if you'll just write it down. That way, when I get ready to do it, I know it's there, I know you want it done, I'll get to it. And I will cross it off as I go. So, I started doing that. I bought me one of these, I put it up here. I started writing things up here in this little corner for him to do. He comes by all the time, he looks at this list, hmm. And I see the wheels starting to turn in his mind. Today, y'all, he's done crossed off two things on this list. Sometimes I will catch him coming by the refrigerator, grabbing this little marker, jotting him something down. He even jotted us something down right here, y'all. It says, do not argue about little things. <laughs> he's such a smart aleck. No, he's actually right, okay? Get you one of these. Stop the nagging. Don't even let him know what it's for. Just kind of like say something like, you know what? I'm going to try something. I've hung something on the fridge. Let me know what you think about it. Blah, blah, blah. Just drop it. Then just drop it. Y'all, see what he does after that. See if he goes by that little list every day. Now, the first couple of days, he may be like, that ain't happening. <laughs> I ain't never going to get all that stuff done. Give it a couple of days, y'all. Let the idea sink in. And you know what? Reverse psychology, make him think it was his idea. There's you one. Make him think it was his idea, y'all. Okay? Write it down. He may protest the first couple of days, but then eventually you're going to see him walking by that refrigerator and looking at that little list, and he's going to be like, and don't be surprised if he comes in and he starts checking things off and marking things off, y'all. I've caught him going by here and another little corner making a little grocery list for whoever goes to town next. And then this also helps women, okay? When I'm running out of something in the refrigerator and I write it down real quick, or if I'm running out of something as far as groceries and I write it down real quick... Before I leave the house, I'll take a picture of that grocery list so I don't get into town and say, what in the world was I supposed to pick up? Doctor's appointments, y'all. It's helped my daughter-in-laws. I've taught them how to do this little treat. It's helped my... Oh, I'm getting dizzy spinning y'all around. It's helped my daughter-in-laws. Doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, uh, when they were in college, uh, tests coming up, um, the dates that they were supposed to be at the school to take these exams. They're teaching my sons how to use it. See, y'all? Shh, don't tell them. Try this treat. See if it works. It may take a couple of weeks, y'all, for it to sink in and then realize how this works. But trust me, 
It's going to work on some men, some men it's not going to work on, okay? But if anything, it'll help you out, okay? We are busy mothers, wives, grandmothers, employees, you name it. We are all busy. We all can write something down on that little whiteboard, okay, to help us remember things. But try it on your husband and tell me, come back to this video and tell me if this works or not, y'all, and if he's actually crossing off stuff on that list. See, when we, I, I came in here, I knew we had things to do to get the house winterized and ready for winter. He just cleaned the gutters and he just cleaned the flue so we can start having um, fires in the fireplace. Because he knows I love my fireplaces. <laughs> okay? Y'all try it. Make him think it's his idea. Hang it up there. Tell him what you got going on and say, hey, you know, maybe some things that we need to start, say we, that we need to start doing around the house. Maybe if we just write it down and then just cross it off when we get done. Don't tell him your plans. Don't tell him because I'm trying to get you to do something. Okay, don't tell him that. Don't even get a fight started. Just say, you know, it's helping me to remember to get things done. Let him know how much it's helping you get things done. Let him know, you know, hey, this is what I'm going to start doing. This is helping me. You'll see him going by this whiteboard occasionally looking at it. And he might start writing down things himself. And he may start erasing things off. I'm serious, y'all. Try it. Shh. Don't tell them. It's our little secret, okay? It's our little secret, okay? Y'all try it. Let me know how it works and see if it's working for you. There's your good homemaking tip, okay?